Hello everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod overview. But before that, this video is brought to you by Darren Cassell and UTB. Thank you for being Farm Baron. So this video is going to give you an overview of a new set of mods released today, August 31st, 2024. And depending on when you are watching this video, it gives you a frame of reference as to when this video was produced. Because as of right now, there are no official documentation for Terra Life Plus and its assortment of add-on mods. And as such, we as players are somewhat left trying to figure things out. Now, from what I understand, there is going to be a wiki that is being produced right now to give us better documentation, but that is possibly a couple weeks out. Personally, in my opinion, with something this big that changes just about everything that there is to know about Farming Simulator 22, the documentation should come first and the mods should have been released once that documentation was set. Because I feel that a lot of players may get so frustrated in trying to really figure things out that they just give up and move on and never really come back to it. And this mod and its company add-on mods they deserve a good fair shake because this has had to have been a monumental amount of work. Let's run over to the Mod Hub and take a look. So Terra Life Plus is a combination of four different Terra Life Plus mods. We have Terra Life Plus, the base mod. Then we have Terra Life Plus Utils, Terra Life Plus Assets, and Terra Life Plus animal food add-ons. You will require all four of these in order to make use of anything related to Terra Life Plus. And in order to use Terra Life Plus, you will need to be using a map that has been configured for it. You will not be able to activate these mods and boot up your favorite mod map and make use of this because it just will not work. So you must be on one of the few maps as of the recording of this video, there are four maps that were released with Terra Life Plus support. Those maps are right here. Two of these, which were released today as new mod maps, and then two of them, which have been out for a little bit of time and are now in Terra Life Plus variants. But if you don't want to use Terra Life Plus, you will be able to use this map and this map in a different variant. But if you want to play on either of these two middle maps, you will have to use Terra Life Plus. Now, what exactly is Terra Life Plus? Well, let's read down through the description. The main part of Terra Life Plus can only be used on maps created for Terra Life Plus, as I've previously said. Together with our partners, we have created a project that is changing many areas of FS22. Specific details would go beyond the scope of this description, so here are a few highlights. The game has now been split up from 12 months into 48 weeks. So each of the 12 months is going to have four weeks. And as you progress through the game, when you sleep, you're going to sleep one week at a time. So you're going to require 48 sleep cycles to go through an entire year. This allows us to show more growth phases of the plant. The fields look differently every week, up to 24 visible growth stages. Game settings can be selected from one day per week to seven days per week. There is a complete and utter overhaul of the animal system. Four times more animal models per sex and species. So we now have different sexes in the game. And we had that with the enhanced animal mod, but basically that has been incorporated into Terra Life Plus. The introduction of hay milk cows. Completely new animations for all animal models, even at different ages. New animal feeding system. A redesigned animal menu with better overview of options. More feed sliders for feeding Feed with milk yields bonus and fattening bonus. Age and breed dependent feed system. Extensive variation of options. Colostrum for newborns, which is only given to a limited extent 
by the mother. Realistic sewing machines, realistic seeding machines, DSV seed for each plant with customized prices and application rates. Any mod seed drill built to giant standard can be used. Realistic no-till with our Nova Ag T-Force Plus 350 and Big Farmer 145 T-Force Plus 640. Pallets with individual removable and replaceable bags. Use of carbo lime and carbo fertilizer. Selective use of herbicides in green manure and potato cultivation. Works with precision farming. And the following mods of have been incorporated into Terra Life Plus. So you would not want to have in your mod folder Maze Plus, Enhanced Animal System, Animal Grazing. And then with respect to this project, and several modders are listed here, every, all the proceeds are going to go to support a German cancer charity. So I'll be putting up on the screen right here the name of that charity. So even if ultimately you decide you're not going to play with this mod or with the maps that include this mod, it would benefit the charity if you would actually go ahead and download these mods. Because Giants pays mod authors per download for the download of their mods. And as a result of downloading all of these mods, assuming these mods are rated highly, Giants will pay out more. And the proceeds are going to go to the specific charity that I previously just listed. Now, in addition to Terra Life Plus, Terra Life Utils, Assets, and Animal Food Add-on, you're also going to need to use Precision Farming's DLC, Production Revamp, and Expandable Pastures, because all of those are also required mods for this system. So the Terra Life Plus is going to be one megabyte. It's not that big in size. That's going to change, because we're also going to need to use Terra Life Plus Utils. That is going to be 541 megabytes in size. Now, this is going to give us various things like pallets, bales, and other things. Terra Life Plus Assets is an additional 984 megabytes. Both of these are required. So now we are up there right around 1.5 gigabytes just with Terra Life Plus mods. And then you have your animal food add-on, which is basically going to give you all of the dynamic changes to the animal food system with Terra Life Plus. Now at the bottom of each of these entries, you are gonna find a link to the Alien Paul's website, and our YouTube page, I should say, and a sneak peek teaser of this particular mod. And I do wanna go ahead and take the next four minutes and show this to you, because there's lots of information that we can glean from this teaser. So after Maze Plus, we have a new calendar, four weeks, integration of enhanced animal system, over 32 animal types, six species, four breeds, different maps. So here we have the animal trailer. We saw cows were walking there. We're gonna be able to feed our animals with some new tools, different size animals, different stages of animals different food requirements for all of those different types of animals. We know we're getting different age animals in Farm Sim 25, so this is a little bit of possibly what we might be seeing. Different capacities of different pallets. Different types of storage crates. There's tons of different types of grasses and several different ways of feeding all of our animals. And then here we have different bales, different bale types, different seeds, different seed types. We can buy seed silos. We can buy storage silos. Here we have the new Nova Ag seeder. We know that Nova Ag is also coming to Farming Simulator 25. So it's interesting to see it here in this particular mod as well. 
So you're going to be able to buy your seed. We saw it there in bags. You can buy seed in different quantity of pallets. And depending on how you buy your seed, you may actually also see a little bit of a discount. We're going to show that off here in a little bit. Now we're seeing multiple stages of growth. And depending on when you harvest, well, you might actually lose a little bit of a crop due to crop die off. Now there is quite the complexity with respect to animal feed and I can't wait until the documentation actually hits to really fully help explain what is going on here. We're gonna take a look a little bit later with our animal food overview mod and that's gonna need some updates to really help us understand because right now it really isn't showing us any detail that is very helpful for the Terra Life Plus mod. We have volunteer grain that is gonna appear on our fields. We also have the ability to spread now compost as well as carbo lime. And I would, I would be totally faking it if I told you I understood what carbo lime was. We have the ability now to mow grass along fields, in fact, or along roads. In fact, there are roadside maintenance contracts to cut the grass. And then once that grass is cut, we're going to be able to use a dryer or a blower to basically clear away the grass clippings. Multiple, multiple new grains and crops have been added. We're going to take a closer look at all of those here in a little bit. And again, with all of those different growth stages from week to week, we're going to have a very dynamic map. Now, we'll be honest here, I'm not really sure what's going on. We're obviously seeding, no-till seeding in a field that's got a lot of growth in it, but there was also a fair bit of, I guess, weeds that were still showing up. And then there you go. That is the end of the trailer. You see all of the modders that were a part of this project. From the cutting room floor, I want to interject something that I believe I missed while I was recording this video. And that is, I would highly recommend that you start using this mod pack and these maps with a clean mod folder. There is so much going on and this mod pack changes so much that you're going to very easily run into all sorts of mod conflicts if you simply dump these mods and the map and all the required mods with these maps into your large mod folder and start playing the game. In fact, I've got a link to the Maze Plus Discord in the description below, and they have a list going on now of all the known mod conflicts. I encourage you to go to join that Discord and check that listing out. Without further ado, let's get back to the action. Now we are on the Palani map, and this is one that was released previously. You may or may not have recognized this with the giant train archway there, the town, and some of these animal areas. I recognize this map because I do remember seeing this and doing the map video on this. And I picked this one because it had no other required mods other than the Terra Life Plus stuff. Of the other four, or the other three maps, sorry, that were released today that support this, they all had huge lists of other required mods. So I felt this was going to be the cleanest with respect to looking at and really understanding what is new and what is a part of this mod pack as opposed to being also part of the map itself. Now I want to show you build mode because build mode, there is a whole lot going on and we have already had and placed all of these buildings down and we're going to talk about these buildings quickly as we progress through build mode and we also have a ton of placeable plants placeable trees and other objects so back over here under sheds pretty standard nothing new there silos 
we're going to have a small bunker silo. We're going to have a large bunker silo. We're going to have a manure heap. We're going to have a 10,000 liter silo and a 20,000 liter silo. For silo extensions, we're going to have a 10,000 liter silo extension and a 20,000 liter silo extension. We also have a manure heap, but I couldn't put that down because we didn't have at the time any animal areas. Under containers, we have a 10,000 liter container and we're going to be able to buy product into that. We have a 20,000 liter container. We're going to be able to buy product into that. We'll take a closer look here in a moment. We're going to have a loading station for beet pulp, a loading station for brewer's grain, and a loading station for the brand that we have listed here. I would butcher it if I told you that. And this is going to be able to buy all sorts of branded seeds and other products. And then we're going to have a water and molasses station. That's where we're going to be able to either buy water or buy and store molasses. Under tools, we have a high shelf with roof for storing of our pallets. And then we have a weighing station. Let's run down here real fast and take a look at these silos. We're going to be able to bring in laying hen feed, hay pellets, chick starter, chicken food, pig meat, grain gris, pig breed feed, sheep feed, lambs starter, mineral feed, breeding musel, sorry, pig food, pig starter, beet pellets, horse food, calf feed, concentrate feed, chicken meat feed, laying hen feed, hay pellets, Chick starter. I think we're back. I think we maybe are back. Chicken food, pig meat. Yeah, we're back. We're back around the list. So that's what those two are going to hold. And it's going to be molasses or water. Then we move into production. And we have a ton of production. Because, well, this mod is going to completely change around production. We have three different biogas plants. Those are represented here. In fact, you can see we don't have any base game factories. They have all been replaced with variants for the Terra Life Plus mod. We have the Gris Mill located down here. We have a grape processing unit, but this is aptly named incorrectly because it is going to basically take sugar and barley and it's going to make barley gris and I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe barley wine. We'll have to see here in a moment. We have our hay cleaner. Then we have a custom bakery. The American custom bakery. We have our carpentry. We have then our American carpentry shop. We have our cereal factory. We have our dairy, our American dairy. We have our grain mill right here. We have our oil mill. We have the properly named grape processor. We have our spinnery. We have our American spinnery. We have our sugar mill. We have our tailor shop. We have multiple selling points. We have a biomass heating plant that has been updated to accept lots of various new fill types. We have the farmer's market that has been also updated to accept lots of new different products. We have a fast food restaurant that again has been modified to reflect the products that we can grow with this mod, as well as a farm shop. We have the pizzeria, again, modified. The restaurant has been modified and the supermarket. We have a new village pub. We have a, another farm shop. 
located back here. We have a warehouse and then we have a grain intake. We have three different greenhouses that replace the base game greenhouses. And we have placeable apple trees. We have a small apple tree and a larger apple tree. With respect to our animals, well, we have all of the standard base game animal pins, which are going to support the new animals. But we also have the extendable pastures ready pastures. And they are also going to work with these new animals with our cows or horses pigs, sheep, chickens, and goats. Then we have our extendable pastures that we can add on here as well. Under deco, well, there are lots of decos. So there's a few placeable signs that we can put down. They're right here. And then we have other placeable signs that are related to each particular crop. So we have corn maize, barley, we have beetroot, beta max, then we have white clover, rye, triticao, summer wheat, we have carrots, white lupine, winter wheat, mustard, we have cool season W, Country Energy 2023 Pasture Grass, okay, Herb Grass, Field Grass, Regular Grass, Clover Grass, Meadow, Horse Grass, Alfalfa, Linseed, we have Maze, I don't know that, Barley, Linsburger, then we have Flower Mix, In Fix, Onions, Parsnip, silage maize, corn sorghum, potato, silage sorghum, oilseed radish, canola, so yeah, I don't know. Soybean, spelt, sugar beet, sunflower, vetch, rye, warm season, and oat. So all of those crops. We have little signs that you can post next to your fields if you're really not sure what you ended up planting. Or in reality, farmers will put these down when they are trying different strains of grain and people can see how the different types of grain are growing. Now, with respect to landscaping, we have a ton of custom trees and basically every base game tree has been replaced with a Terra Life Plus variant. And I believe the reason for this is the change from 12 months to 48 weeks. So we should hopefully see foliage changing on our trees and growth states changing on our trees as we progress through a 48 week year as opposed to a 12 month year. So we've got all of our trees planted here. Then I had to extend them over to here as well. Now, in addition to those, then we have an extensive listing of plants that we can paint down. And these are part of the mod. So we have, in this order, conifer, daylily, tall dry grass, deco grass, dense deco grass, small rumex, white tall weed, rumex, short deco grass, green tall weed, Thistle, mature meadow, mature grass, mature orchard grass, lawn, landscape grass, and roadside grass. And then we move over here. And we're going to find our flower mix, warm season. Cool Season W, Mastro Pro TR, yeah, sure. Fern, Thimbleberry, Stinging Nettle, Small Bush, Medium Bush, 
big bush and tall bush. So these bushes are being repeated because again, we have that 48 week year now. Then we have our short blueberry, small blueberry and middle blueberry bush. We have big blueberry bush, tall blueberry bush, small boxwood, middle boxwood, big boxwood, small hazelnut bush, medium hazelnut bush, big hazelnut bush. And then we move into growing plants that we can paint down. And without documentation, one would be having to somewhat guess here, but I believe by having growing listed, we're going to be able to paint these and watch them grow over time. So we have small bush growing, medium bush growing, and then the rest of these are all going to be growing. So we're not just going to repeat growing here. We've got big bush, small blueberry bush, medium and big blueberry bush, small boxwood, medium and big boxwood, as well as in small hazelnut, medium hazelnut, and big hazelnut. And then lastly, we have the ability to paint down a field. Quite a big listing, and it kind of gives you the idea why on earth those mods are so big. Let's take a look at our production. So since this mod also requires production revamp, well, now we're really seeing production revamp being implemented here. So we have our Ys, which are gonna represent serial production and our straight lines, which are gonna represent parallel production. Serial production means I can get full output if I enable one item. If I enable two items, my full output is split between these. So in theory, if time was equal, as it is here, cycles per month, I would get half bread and half rye over the same time period where previously I would get only bread. In a parallel production, I can enable silage through this method, or I can enable silage or yeah, through this method, and I'm going to get the same output if I have one, two, three, or four enabled. So I can get four times the output if I enable all four by having that for parallel production. So bread, we're gonna require flour and we're gonna get bread. Rye bread is gonna be two units of rye flour to one unit of rye bread. Spelt bread is gonna be two units of spelt flour to one unit of spelt bread. Cakes are gonna be two units of sugar and two units of eggs. And we're gonna need either two units of flour, rye flour, or spelt flour. And we're gonna need two units of either milk, hay milk, goat milk, or sheep milk. And we're gonna need two units of either butter, hay milk butter, goat butter, sheep butter. And we're gonna need two units of strawberries or grapes. And then we're gonna get cake. So we're gonna be required to do sugar, eggs, one of these three, one of these four, one of these four, one of these two, and then we're gonna get our cake. So we have the other variant of our bakery. We have three different BGAs. They're simply gonna differ only in the amount of output that they put out, but they are gonna accept silage, alfalfa silage, maize silage, clover grass silage, clover silage, field grass silage, meadow silage, herb grass silage, horse grass silage, horse haylage, maize straw silage, pasture grass silage, mixed silage, mixed silage too. Don't know what goes into those. Slurry, manure, sugar be cut. And we're gonna output digestate, energy, and methane. Carpentry shop, fairly standard there. As well as then our cereal factory. Well, we have our cereal recipe, fairly standard there. We also now have the ability of making popcorn. Popcorn is gonna require grain corn and butter or hay milk butter, goat butter or sheep butter and one sugar. And then we're gonna get our popcorn. And this is an optional input. And if we add this, then we're gonna boost our output by 
We also have the ability of making onion rings at our cereal factory. We're going to be adding onion and any of our three oils, sunflower, canola, or olive oil, to get our onion rings. The dairy is where we're going to make all of our exotic butters and cheeses. Well, we're going to take and bring in Oh, here we are. Regular milk for our butter, hay milk for butter, goat milk or sheep milk for butter. And we're going to either get regular butter, hay milk butter, goat butter, or sheep butter as an output. And then our cheeses is going to be pretty much the same. Regular cow milk is going to give us regular cheese, hay milk cheese, goat cheese, and sheep cheese. And then our chocolate is going to be one sugar, one of our various milks. And then we're going to get our chocolate. Our grain mill is going to be flour and flour is going to be summer wheat, summer barley, oat, sorghum. Any of those are going to make us flour. We have rye flour, which is going to require winter rye and spelt flour, which is going to require spelt. Our not properly named grape processing unit is going to take summer barley and sugar as an option and make malt drink. And we're going to also get brewer's grain as an output. The properly named grape processing unit is going to take grapes and output grape juice and raisins. Our grist mill, well, it's going to accept summer wheat, winter wheat, summer barley, winter barley, oat, triticale, spelt, or winter rye or sorghum, and produce out grain grist. We have corn grain grist. We're just basically going to take grain corn and output that. Sunflower grist, pretty straightforward on sunflower, canola, and then our protein grist is going to be either soybeans, white, lupine, or linseed, and we're going to get then a protein grist. Our hay cleaner is going to take meadow hay and produce calf hay as a result. Our three custom greenhouses are going to accept water and compost as an optional bonus input and produce our tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries. Our oil mill, fairly straightforward, gonna accept our normal grain inputs or crop inputs for our oil outputs. Spinnery, fairly standard. Sugar mill, fairly standard, but we have an added output of molasses. And then our tailor shop, fairly standard as well. Now, everything gets way complex once we start talking about animals. I have placed down one of each type of animal pen, and I have purchased one of each type of animal and each age range that is available with this particular mod. You see some of those different models here for our cows. And let's go ahead over here and see what we can do. Well, we have a total of 40 different cow options. 40. So we have Angus heifer calf, Angus weanling female, Angus heifer, Angus cow, Angus bull calf, Angus weanling male, Angus young bull, and Angus bull. So all of those various states are now going to be repeated with respect to red pied. Simmental. Okay, never heard of that one, sorry. Holstein and Wagyu. That's where we get our 40. And we can see our Wagyu heifer calf is at an age of four months. Our Wagyu weanling female is 10 months old. So as our heifer calf moves up to 10 months, well, they will become this particular type of cow. Our heifer is at 18 months. Our Wagyu cow is at 29 months. Our Wagyu bull calf is at 4 months, 10 months, 18 months, and once again, 28 months. And as our cows progress through those various stages, well, their food requirements will also change. So let's go to our animal menu. And we'll try to run through that as best as possible. 
So here we are with our heifer calf, four month old heifer calf. And we can see how this screen has been modified. So we have our animals and animal pins over here on the left. We have our general overview of the particular animal that we have selected in the middle. Below we have some help information related to our food entry. We have our conditions, milk, litter, so straw, slurry, and claustrum for the various pin information. And then we have the food requirements for the particular animals. So a four month old heifer calf is gonna require calf TMR, calf hay, calf feed to get 100%. As those heifer calves move into weanling females, well, their food requirements are gonna change. They now need base food, roughage energy, roughage protein, roughage structure, and mineral feed. As they move up to heifers, well, they're going to pretty much require the same as they had before, but I believe, yep, moisture feed has been added. So now they are at base food, roughage protein, roughage structure, moisture feed, roughage energy, and mineral feed. And then as they move up into full grown calves or cows, we're looking at base food, roughage energy, roughage protein, roughage structure, moisture feed, and energy cereal mix, dairy performance mix, concentrated feed, protein cereal mix, concentrated feed milk, and mineral feed. And that's for the milk giving variants. See, we have a milk bonus of productivity here based on what we have fed. The bull calves have very similar food requirements as to the heifer calves. As we move up, you can see again, all of this information is changing as this cow ages. And then at its full bull age, we have base food, roughage structure, roughage energy, roughage protein, moisture feed, energy cereal mix, concentrated feed, concentrated feed, fattening, protein cereal mix, fattening, performance feed, mineral feed. All four now are male, are beef cattle. And that is repeated through all of the various types of cattle that we have here. Moving over to our horses. We have eight different growth stages of the horse. We can see those now represented here. We have foal female. We have now a 10 month old foal female. We have a 18 month old mare young. Then we have a 27 month old mare. And then we move into a zero month old foal, 10 month old foal male, stallion young at 18 months and a full grown stallion at 27 months. And we have our deans. We have half lingers, Dutch cold blood. So three different types of horse and eight different types of horse each. And once again, if we take a look at our horses, well, they're gonna vary. We have then our different ages. They're going to require straw and at least with this base game pin and food requirements. Well, they have horse roughage, base food, moisture feed, roughage energy, concentrated feed, mineral feed, and roughage protein. Now, the fact that you see some food here in these pins, that is basically the graze mod that is built in giving them some of the food that they are going to require. Moving over here to our pigs. Once again, we continue the trend by having different ages pigs and different types of pigs overall. We have a total of 16 different types of pigs available. We have land race piglet female, zero months. We have land race porker female at three months. We have sow young at six months, and we have a full grown sow at 12 months. We have a male piglet at zero, porker at three, young boar at six, and a boar at 12. So we have land race, and we have do, do rock, different types of pigs. And looking at our pig food requirements, we have different Food requirements, once again, for different age pigs. 
So our young piglets at zero months, they're gonna require a pig starter feed, energy cereal mix, moisture feed, protein cereal mix, and mineral feed. Our porker females are moving up a little bit with respect to energy cereal mix, protein cereal mix, moisture feed, pig starter feed, and mineral feed. Our young sows are gonna require moisture feed, pig feed, or breeding feed for pigs, roughage protein, protein cereal mix, energy cereal mix, and mineral feed. Land race sows. So once we get to full point here, we're at moisture feed, breeding feed for pigs, roughage protein, protein cereal mix, energy cereal mix, and mineral feed. Our males, pig starter feed, energy cereal, moisture feed, protein cereal mix, and mineral feed. So they follow along fairly well with respect to piglets and porkers. Once we get to boars though, we're gonna have moisture feed, fattening feed for pigs, roughage protein, protein cereal mix, energy cereal mix, mineral feed for our boars. For our full grown boars, that was for young boars. Our full grown boars were at moisture feed, roughage protein, fattening feed for pigs, protein cereal, energy cereal mix, concentrated feed, fattening, and mineral feeds. Are you still with me? Because we've not even explained what's in these mixes. For our sheep, we have 16 different types of sheep. We have the Merlino, Merino, Suffolk lamb. So we have lamb female, zero months, lamb female at three months, you young at six months, you at 14 months. Then we have a lamb male at zero months, three months, a young ram at six, and a full grown ram at 12. As far as food requirements go, well, we have our baby lambs. They're going to require lamb starter feed, base food. And then we have our three month olds that are going to be base food, roughage energy, performance feed, and mineral feed. We come to our six month old ewes, and they are at base food, roughage energy, performance feed, and mineral feed. And then we have our full grown, which are going to be at base food, moisture feed, roughage protein, roughage structure, roughage energy, concentrated feed, milk, concentrated feed, mineral feed, performance feed, energy cereal feed, protein cereal mix. Yeah, a lot of stuff, man, a lot of stuff. And we're gonna get a milk bonus out of those. But of course our rams, well, not so much. We're not gonna get milk out of those. They are gonna get a fattening bonus. Chickens, just when you thought we were done. We have 16 different types of chicks. So we have baby chicks, female and baby chicks, male zero months. We have two month old chick females and male chicks. We have young hens at four months, young roosters at four months. Then we have regular hens at six and we then have regular roosters at six. We have loman, we have leghorn, and then we have, well, like I said, 16 different types of chickens, eight per breed. Let's see what they look like here. And of course, as they age, they will grow up in size. And if we look at our food requirements, well, we have young chicks, our chicken starter food and roughage protein. As we move up the age range a little bit, we have protein cereal mix, chicken layer feed, energy cereal mix, moisture feed, roughage protein, roughage energy, and mineral feed. Our young hens, protein cereal, chicken layer feed, energy cereal mix, moisture feed, roughage protein, roughage energy, energy feed, or mineral feed. And then our full grown hens were at protein cereal, chicken layer feed, energy cereal, moisture feed, roughage protein, roughage energy, and mineral feed. With respect to our roosters, well, they have a slightly different ratio of energy cereal mix, moisture feed, protein cereal mix, Roughage energy, roughage protein, chicken fattening feed, and mineral feed. So 
So how on earth are you going to be making all of this feed mix? Well, this is where we're going to lean a little bit on our animal food overview. Now, this screen is not very helpful at all because, as you can see, we have this listing, Cow Parallel. And all of these listings are showing different food requirements. Well, these are going to be all of the different age ranges for the different cows and all the different breeds of those different cows. So it gets a little bit confusing. Maybe Animal Food Overview will be updated to reflect the names that are in Terra Life Plus. As we get about halfway down through this list, though, well, you're going to see that we're going to pop into a different animal. And it's going to be more of the same, though, with all of the different animals having different growth patterns. So here we have our chickens. We have our goats. We have our sheep. And we're going to have our pigs. Okay. Well, if we go here to show mixture recipes, we have standard mixed rations, which are going to be, well, 75% or it's going to be meadow hay, silage, wheat straw, and mineral feed. Standard TMR, min max. Simple mixed rations, a little bit more complex. I don't really know if I'd call it simple. We have silage or maize silage, alfalfa silage, clover silage, grass clover silage, and meadow silage, which is different than silage and maize silage. Herb grass silage, field grass silage, or pasture grass silage. Then we have carrot pulp silage, carrot pulp, carrot pulp silage, or potato pulp silage, potato pulp, brewer's grain silage, or brewer's grain. And it looks like the list continues, but it's off screen. So you can kind of get a listing here. We need the documentation. We need it badly. Now, of course, this is making use of Maze Plus. I don't use Maze Plus. Some of this stuff may be directly pulled in from Maze Plus. And therefore, if you look at the Maze Plus documentation, it may help you out with these food requirements. But here you can see we have mixed ration for dairy cattle from a specific age range. Another mixture for dairy cattle from another specific age range. Right, so it continues on, but there's a whole lot of information that is missing with this entry. Down in the description, I will also have a link to the Maze Plus Discord server. That is going to be where you're going to get the official support for the Terra Life Plus mod, and quite frankly, Maze Plus as well. So if you are a Discord user, it is well worth going over there and basically asking your questions but be sure you do ask them in the proper channels and check and see if maybe there is already some documentation listing what will ultimately be the answer to your question. Now you may have thought we're done. No, we're not done. We're mostly done, but we're not done because now we got to go take a look at our vehicle shop because, well, Terra Life Plus, mods and DLCs, we have a ton of things that are available for purchase at the dealer so we can buy feed and you'll see this says configure and you see this listing of various feed types so we can go here and customize and we can buy pallets of chicken feed but we can also buy different size pallets and we can buy a different quantity up to eight and you can see that as we buy more we're going to get a discount well if we buy 1050 liter pallets we're going to get no discount if we buy 600 liter pallets, it's going to cost us 5% more. 300 liter pallets are going to cost us 10% more. And if we buy it by the bag at 50 liters, it's 14% surcharge. But I want to get the best bang for my buck. Well, you can save a little money by buying 1,000 liter big bags. You can save even more money by buying <laughs> eight. Here, let's, let's, let's drop this back by buying a 30,000 liter silo trailer, 11%. Now this is basically a big bag on wheels. As you use this up, it will completely vanish. You can buy a 25,000 liter silo of chicken feed. And again, this is basically a big bag when you buy at the shop. It's just 25,000 liters worth of big bag. And once you consume all this up, 
then it's just going to vanish just like any other big bag. We have an 18,500 liter silo version, and then we're back to our 1,050 liter pallet. Well, we can do that for chicken food, beet pellets, grain gris, hay pellets, mineral feed, horse food, pig food, concentrate feed, sheep feed, calf feed, lin, laying hen feed, chicken meat feed, chick starter, pig starter, pig breeding feed, pig meat, lamb starter, replace milk replacer, feed lime, breeding musel, and back to our chicken food. So I assume that if we buy, let's say, our sheep feed, this is gonna basically fill all of the requirements for the standard sheep. And if we buy calf feed, this is gonna feed all or provide all of the different requirements for our calf, as opposed to our full grown cows, which are gonna have to buy different types of feed. Silage bales, hay bales, straw bales, round CCM bales, they all show configurable. Well, if we go to customize, right, we can get different numbers of bales up to eight. We can get them in round or square variants. And we can get clover silage, alfalfa silage, meadow silage, horse grass silage, maize silage, regular silage. And we can also change the color of the wrap. Well, that will continue for our hay with respect to clover hay, alfalfa hay, meadow hay, horse hay, our straw. Well, we have wheat straw, barley straw, oat straw, and spelt straw, rye straw, triticale straw, maize straw, and back to our wheat straw. Round bale CCM. Well, we have regular CCM. We can get it round bales or small round bales. And we get it different quantities. And again, different wraps. We have fillable pallets. And we can buy those in different quantities. And you can see the different fill types that we can put in these fillable pallets. We can buy boxes or crates of root crops. We can buy carrots, fodder carrots, new potatoes, starch potatoes, parsnips, beetroot, fodder beet. We can buy them wooden pallets. We can buy them in mesh pallets. And we can buy them in different quantities. We can buy a transport box, again, to transport the various potatoes, including premium potatoes. We can buy various totes of molasses, carbo lime, water, or limfrisol, sorry. We can buy various pallets of horse hay, half hay, compact grass, compact alfalfa, basically compressed grass or alfalfa, haylage, different capacities of haylage. And then we have our different seeds. So we have fodder, field fodder seeds, and that's gonna be alfalfa seed, clover seed, silage maize seed, clover grass seed, silage sorghum seed, vitesh rye seed. And we can buy them once again in different size pallets big bags, and different quantities. We have our grain seed. Well, what do you think? Well, we're gonna have summer barley, winter barley, summer wheat, winter wheat, grain maize, oat, winter rye, sorghum, spelt, trick cow, all available as well. Grass seeds, guess what? Well, all the different types of grasses, field grass, grass, horse grass, meadow grass, pasture grass, herb grass, field grass, all again in different capacities. Greening seeds, hmm, what do you think? Yep, once again, summer mix seeds, winter mix seeds, flower mix, mustard seeds, mias mix, oilseed radish, beta max seed, and in fix seed, sola rignol seed, Lindsberger germantage seed, 
yeah. Legumes. Well, we have either soybeans or lupine. Oil seeds. Well, we're going to have our canola, our sunflower, or our linseed. And then we have seed boxes where we can buy different size boxes of seed for onions, sugar beet, fodder beet, carrot, carrot fodder, beetroot, parsnip, universal seeds. We can get them in different big bags, little bags, and pallets. Buy feed grains, so we can go ahead and just buy product. Wheat, bar winter wheat, summer barley, winter barley, oat, triticale, spelt, winter rye, sorghum, sunflowers, canola, soybeans, white lupine, linseed, grain corn, different capacities, big bags. Buy additional feeds in pig meat feed, pig breed feed, milk replacer, hay pellets, beet pellets, chicken feed or chicken meat feed mix. Laying hen feed mix, calf feed, pig food, chicken food, grain gris, canola gris, protein gris, sunflower gris, and then again, get them in different capacities. Seed potatoes. Well, we have potato seed and different capacities. Carbo lime in different quantities. And then we move into vehicles and implements. So we have a cattle trailer, good for six cows. In that trailer, we saw us moving cows. Basically, the cows were walking inside of this thing. Kind of interesting. I guess that's maybe how we're going to move cattle from one pasture to the next. We have a water barrel trailer, 3,400 liters of water. Then we have a branded man truck, two branded man trucks. We have a mobile silo that is going to accept our various grain inputs when we have a trailer that is also going to be set up to accept all of the additional grain inputs here we have our grain mill to make ccm we have a subsoiler for our grass and this is going to reset the plowing state and add one fertilizer state we have a mulcher we have a wrapper that is going to work with all of the custom grasses to make wrapped grass bales. We have our blower that we saw again in the trailer, blowing the cut grass away from our road work contracts. We have the implement or the vehicle that was using the mower and the blower available here. We have the mower header. Then we also have a stump grinder. We have a little trailer for hauling our various milks and feeds for our calves. We have a harvester, and this is going to be set up to harvest our different types of potatoes, our fodder carrots, our onions. And then we have a self-propelled harvester in for our different potatoes, fodder carrots. We have another mower that's going to be able to go onto a tractor in order to do those road work contracts. We have then basically placeable, fillable seed silos that we're gonna be buying at the shop. And the way they look, they have a hook on the top. I believe we're gonna be able to transport those with this IT runner truck. We have an industrial storage container again for the use of the IT runner with 45,000 liter capacity. We have a beet chopper that is gonna work with Apparently all of these different inputs. We have a specific harvester that is gonna work with our beet fodder. We also now have a conveyor belt to move our various root crops around. We have another harvester here for our beets, carrots, and parsnips. And then we have our Nova Ag seeders. We have the T-Force 350 and the T-Force 640. And those are gonna to work to basically seed all of our crops that are available to us here as a result of the Terra Life Plus mod. Now, in addition to those, obviously we're going to be able to come over here and use a regular seeder to seed what would typically be able to seed in a seeder. And the same is going to hold for our planters. 
we're going to be able to use our planter to plant several new crops that are part of this mod. And folks, that's that's about the basis of this overview. Without good documentation, I really can't help you out too much more without really diving into this and spending several hours actually using this and trying to figure it out to self, myself. What I do hope the purpose of this video is, one, so that you can watch this and get a general idea of what the heck is Terra Life Plus about. And I think as you have seen, it's about changing nearly everything in Farming Simulator 22. Is this mod for you? Well, at this point in the video, you probably already have an idea if this is something you're willing to take on or something you're just gonna let pass by. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd love to know, is this something you're gonna wait on the documentation for? Read through the documentation and then give it a spin? Or are you just gonna dive in both feet forward and see where things take you? Or are you just gonna completely pass this thing by? And until next time, happy farming.